Welcome back to Bogue Outdoors, everybody. I just launched the kayak off the beach right over there, and I'm gonna be targeting some sheep's head today. I've heard the bite is on. I usually do not target sheep's head because, you know, if you're a fisherman, you know how hard they are to clean. It's like trying to pick the spines out of a porcupine. It's so hard, but if the bite's good, I can't resist myself, so we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna be fishing these pilings up here. I've heard good things about sheep's head being on them recently. Guys, I went out today and I got these fiddler crabs. I'm not sure how they, how well they work for sheep's head, but the guy at the bait shop told me that they work great. So I'm gonna give it a shot here. I've actually never used these fiddler crabs before, but the guy at the bait shop told me they're sheep's head candy, so I'm trying it out. I'm on my first fish, guys. He's taking me into these pilings. Oh, man. This might be a big sheep. Oh, it feels like a big sheep. Yep, good sheep head. Oh, he's gonna mess up my kayak. Mm. All right, I need to get off these rocks. Hey, man, chill. All right, I'm gonna get him in the net. I just need to get off these pilings. I don't really wanna mess up my kayak here. All right, let's paddle over to some open water so I can deal with this guy. Oh, he's not, he's got a lot of fight in him for sure. Come on. That was on the fiddler crab. Oh, all right, there we go. Got him in the boat. All right, let's see if he'll make the cut here. Move my feet out of the day. I really don't want to get spined by this guy. They got so many needles on them. Oh yeah, that's a 17 inch sheep's head. That's a big one right there. They only gotta be 14 to keep. He's a 17 inch sheep's head. There you go, guys. That's a really good sheep's head right there. That's the first fish of the day and he's going on the stringer. Loading up another one. All right, let's get another one. I'm back on my spot. I think I just got eight. Yep, there's another one. Man, they are stacked on these pilings. Oh, he's, these things are fighters. Ugh. All right, I got you, man. I have defeated you. You can calm down now. I have clearly defeated you. He's splashing me. Oh, man, I'm soaking wet now. That's two. He's a little smaller. Still should be a keeper fish. Oh, look at that. That's another good one. Probably, I don't know, 14 inches on the dot. Let's see. Look at that. 15 inches. All right, that's a keeper fish. He's also going on the stringer. Fiddler crab number three going on. There's a fish. Yep, got him. Man, these are some good fighting sheep's head. Every single one of them has given me a good fight and they're all big. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of fish to clean. Ugh, that's all right. Come here, come here you. Come in the net, in the net. There we go. Got him. All right, hooks out, man. Should be another legal fish. These are all really good quality sheep's head. Let's see here. Yep, 16 inches. 
stringer for you. Guys, this is my first time using fiddler crabs. And let me tell you something. If you guys want to catch sheep's head and get past all the croakers and catfish and bull crap fish that are down there, use fiddler crabs. Sheep's head seems to be the only thing that's eating them out here. And I'm getting past, I haven't caught a croaker or a catfish all day because I'm not using shrimp. Everything eats shrimp. These guys will catch you sheephead. All right, we are going for number four now. Got another one, guys. Just got hooked up as soon as it hit the water. I haven't caught a fish in about 30 minutes either, and then this one decided to hit it. I had the GoPro off for that reason. <clears throat> I didn't think I was going to catch anything else. Maybe the bike's turning back on. Another sheep. Good fish. <clears throat> he didn't get it too bad in his mouth. There. Got it out. Now let's see if I can get him out. They get caught in my net because they got so many spines and crap on them. Let's just dump them out. Get out of there. Come on, get out of there, man. There. Lively one. That's going to be another keeper. I may not even measure this one. Uh, I will. Just in case. Look at that fish. Catch board. He is. It's gonna be 15 and a half, so he's also gonna be going on the stringer. All right, this one took about 15 minutes to actually get on the stringer. Huh. They like to bite down on the stringer and they just will not go onto it. My kayak's getting a little heavy. Got an extra 20, 20 pounds of fish on there right now. Oh, he's already on it. Unless he already took my bait. Did he? No, he didn't take it. Hooked up again. I keep missing the hook sets on the GoPro. A lot of action here today. Oh, he just broke me off. Dang, that was a strong fish. All right, you deserve to go then. All right, rigged back up. I'm ready for round two on that fish. Hooked up again. This one's smaller, I think. Yeah, he may be too small. We'll see. Let's see if he is legal. I have to pull a plug out on this kayak. It's kind of starting to turn into a, uh, a bathtub here. Let's see. He is... Oh yeah, he's big enough. Well, we'll see. Oh, he's cutting it close. What does that say? That looks like right at 14, which is what they have to be. But he's cutting it close and I already got a bunch of fish, so I'm actually gonna let this one go. I'll find a bigger one than that.
Thanks for watching everybody. That's going to be it for today. I'm headed back to put the kayak in the truck now and take these fish home and clean them. I had a good day. I lost a lot more fish than I wanted to, but still I think I caught five or six. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.